Testing, testing, how now, Brown Cow? One, two, three, four. Are you ready? I'm all ready. You on here? Come on, let's go inside and get started. Dusty out in that hall. Hey, get a load of fights over there. Oh, and I like that about you just once. <laughs> Dusty out in that hall. What's my temperature, Norton? <laughs> oh, come on, let's get moving. Isn't there any lot here? Hey, about 300 pounds. <laughs> a 20% percentage. And now, who is our next guest, please? Herb, here's our next guest. Humma, 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 humma. <laughs> Ed Norton. Ha, ha. Watch this. <laughs> The Honeymooners Podcast, the only podcast that is all about the greatest show of all time, with the stars, Joe Conti and Louis Fats. If they ever institute a nut of the month club, I've got a very good idea who's going to be January and February. Welcome, fellow raccoons and members of the Women's Auxiliary. What's happening, all you hurricanes, Bensonhurst bombers, and all you Agneses of the world? You're listening to the Honeymooners Podcast with me, Joe Conti, and my pal, Louie Fats. And he's so tall and slim. I'm sorry it took so long. <laughs> no, no, no. I think that I'm pretty sure that was Steve. Who, uh, who told okay, me, said, okay. I forgot. If it wasn't Steve, I apologize. But somebody was like, You have to play he's so tall and slim right after you say my pal Louis Fat. <laughs> I have to do my intro now. Go ahead. Some kids are small, some kids are tall. Fatso Crandon is the only kid who walks down the hall. Wall to wall. wall, to wall. Oh. Very good. Uh, he's so tall and slim. So tall and slim. It really is. It's my pal Louis Fast. And he's so tall and <laughs> slim. <laughs> Boy, oh. how lucky am I to look like Chester Barnes? Exactly. <laughs> yes. Big card like Jack Towns. <laughs> uh, the only podcast all about the greatest show of all time. <laughs> we record in the non-productive studios oh. at 328 Chauncey Street. In Bensonhurst, Brooklyn, also known as Clifton, Clifton New, New Jersey. Jersey. Subscribe to the show wherever you get your podcast. And if you're on iTunes, give us a five-star rating and leave a positive review. And we'll read them. Uh, the home base is non-productive.com slash honeymooners. And listen, don't forget to like our Honeymooners Podcast Facebook page, our Honeymooners Podcast Facebook group, group. on Facebook. Yes, the group. And follow us on Twitter at Honeymooner1. And if you want to leave a voicemail... Call 628-400-7741. Thank you. And then, of course, email us at honeymoonerspodcast at AOL.com. Aren't they ancient? Exactly. Oh, yes, we are. All right. What's going on, Lou? Joe, 129? Yes. Now, we've been off about a month? About a month. About a month. Yes. So, yeah. And I feel Joe's every bit of the rust. rust. Yes. I feel so rusty from uh, from not being yeah, on here we, for a You've month. been busy. I have. Joe's been busy. I'm having my house redone. Yes, with yes. With an ice cream cone. <laughs> with a, that's what he said. He, said, he texted me. <laughs> I was like, dude, what's going on? He's like, I'm nothing, man. He goes, we're, all this rework, and it would have been better with the ice, ice cream, cream cone. cone. <laughs> it's really, this really is. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, goodness. It's going to look just like Cramden's apartment when it's done, though. Exactly. Mr., uh, I mean, is Andre doing Andre, a good oh, job? Oh, Andre did it. Now I'm doing, doing everything it. in a cool green. A very cool <laughs> green. Yes. <laughs> Green is always thought of as cool. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> so, what do we do first? It's been a while. Yeah, right? we we're a little be, rusty. And I, all right, I got it down here. I know we got to do first. First, we want to talk about our wonderful sponsors. Okay. Oh, yeah. And of course, our first sponsor is the great Silk City Hot Sauce. Yes, Silk City Hot Sauce. Go to silkcityhotsauce.com. Get yourself some great, phenomenal hot sauce. Uh, oh, hold on a minute. I am going to make sure that I have this ready. Oh, yeah. Because I want to make sure. We have to insert it there at right yeah, the right time. Yeah, exactly. You know, it is, timing is everything. <laughs> timing is everything. Let me see. It, I don't Except know. on this podcast. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 
Uh, let me see. Is that right there? There it is. Okay. So anyway, uh, go to SilkCityHotSauce.com and get yourself some of the best hot sauce out there. Oh, yeah. Uh, except for the Honey Habanero uh, hot sauce, which is mm, our yeah. hot sauce. Our hot sauce. Uh, yeah. But it's, you know. Uh, yeah. Uh, he, we yeah. ran out. Yeah, we ran out. Which is good. Yeah. You know, we ran out and he hasn't flying gotten a new shelves. one. Yet. Flying off the shelves. Um, but you have great ones like Dragon Slayer, which is maple and fire roasted pepper sauce. Jezebel, which is raspberry habanero. And I like Slurp, Mango Madness. Oh, Mango Madness. Right? And then there's what? You, uh, uh, Aztec, Aztec Attacks. Attacks. Yeah. Yep. Um, that is... Uh, now, Louie also has oh, a little yeah, bit of well, an idea. Yeah, but, um, I was talking to the Kingfish. Yes. And like Jeff I, Levinsky. Jeff Kingfish Levinsky, Levinsky. Kingfish Levinsky, the yep. proprietor of Silk City. Yep. And uh, you know, I've mentioned past that I've yeah, been yeah. using the hot sauces for um, for a you know barbecue sauce, right? And I said to Jeff, you know, yeah, you know, why don't you use these for barbecue sauces? And, uh, and he, he said, "You just gave me a million dollar idea." <laughs> So stupid. <laughs> Waited a month for that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought of that like yeah, three weeks for ago. So tall and, and like, thin and, 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 this. and million and dollar idea. Like, yeah. <laughs> and you know what you told him? You were like, look, I'm telling you, it's going to be yeah, good. Yeah. And then you were, and he's like, are you sure? And be like, yeah. I'll let him taste it. He'll be sold on it just like we were. Exactly. But it is a good barbecue sauce. It really is. Yeah. I'm still it's using. Enough, it's got my, enough sweetness in it where you know get that nice little char on whatever you're you know right. whatever you're making on the grill. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, so what you do is after you go and get uh, the best hot sauce on the planet, what you do is you go to the checkout, and right in the middle of the checkout will be a little place where you could put a coupon code. And what you do is you go to the and and there's two letters yes. for that coupon code, and you know what those two letters are. Rx. Yes, <laughs> you put <laughs> Rx in the coupon code, <laughs> that's what it would be. and you get yourself a fifteen percent percentage off of your order, and you get a free bottle of uh, comp, uh, 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 <laughs> cherry sriracha. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, I couldn't think of the word. <laughs> and of course, Lou, what's the uh, well? Disclaimer? The disclaimer here is that's for comedic purposes only, yeah, and you, you will not get a bottle of cherry sriracha. You're not getting a bottle of out of that too. You're not getting a bottle of. Cherry uh, 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 Sriracha. I'm sorry, sir. I couldn't think of the word. <laughs> wow. Well, see, we've been all gone a month, but we did it twice. We did it twice. That's right. right. Which, up. of course, goes to the Ron Albanese theory, theory of the two yeah. theory. Um, hold that thought. Oh, no. Oh, really? Oh, I know. This is awful. No, don't do this to me. Um, <laughs> Ron's just like, oh, my God, I can't believe it. But go ahead. We're yeah. going to go on. One of the most popular yeah. numbers in the world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But of course, that's all. It's all. Yeah, exactly. Um, so now, what we have to do is do the next order of business. Yes. And we all know what the order of business is, and it's when you hear the music. Of course. Of course. Vedele, <laughs> the Honeymooners Podcast nights the full grown nut of the week. Aren't you lucky? gives me real pleasure to present to you this award. <laughs> Mike Nangle. Yes, Mike Nangle, who, by the way, I thought he was already full-grown nut of... Mike, that's our apology to you. We, we thought, thought you were already... You were already a full-grown nut. And we Joe went back to the list and said, no. No. Like, Whoa, well, and then I, the board of nuts... Yeah. Went nuts. Yeah. They, they, yeah. They really were. They didn't understand didn't it. Say, wait, wait, wait a minute. Why why not Mike Nangle? Right. I'm like, oh. And they were okay. like, uh sorry. sorry. No. Oh, here we go. Whoops. <laughs> That's not <laughs> how it's going. Okay. All right. All right. Like we said, I'm a little <laughs> messed up. That was a little here. rusty here. A little <laughs> rusty. But we were like, why did we think he was? And I know why. Because uh we knew that uh, he's he's. And you were a stupid head. Yeah, exactly. That's what it was. It was <laughs> <laughs> Why did yeah. this guy not? He's a stupid head. Yeah, exactly. He's a, a, a menace to society yeah, he, and a, a menace to Ralph, Ralph too. Yeah. A menace to to us. 
and of course a stupid but head. head. And that's all the board of nuts needed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Versa was their suggestion, so I mean, it was easy getting him through. Yeah, of course. And when we realized yeah. that he wasn't, we were like, well, of course, because he be one of those nuts. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah, very simple. That's right, what you got to right, be. Right, right. We were like, oh, he's already a full grown nut, and and Mike Dangle must have been like. <laughs> and of course you can't miss this one you're a menace to society you're a menace to me and you are a stupid head <laughs> it's just so I fucking <laughs> stupid head that's the best it really is uh mike nangold uh nangle uh well worth it. Oh, God. yeah. Mean, he's just oh, been such a great a, contributor. Yeah, I mean, we have to basically apologize to the man. Yeah, I mean, have we, to. Because we actually thought, Mike, that you were already a full-grown nut. We thought you were a full-grown nut. Yeah. And he was the one that put uh, a couple weeks ago, and he asked the question, has the term honeymooned, honeymooned. been kerned? Yeah, yeah, that's right. In other words, like you've been honeymooned. Honey, you've been honeymooned. Yeah, like if uh, my wife said something. Your wife. No, okay, yeah, I yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's <laughs> <laughs> like there, you just honeymooned. Yeah, just me. I honeymooned. Exactly. Yeah. There it is. That's. I think it is. It's when you and I, I'm gonna just say it. I think when you get honeymooned, that's when somebody says something and then you respond in that context, the correct context. There you go with a honeymooners line that matches perfectly. Exactly. Oh, right. that's it. That's being that's, honeymooned. That's you've been honeymooned. Oh God. Maybe that could be one of the shirts. shirts. You've been honeymooned. honeymooned. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, we this got some good. stuff. We got some we, stuff. We got it's going to be big. Brewing. Yeah, we gonna got it. It's going to be big. The biggest thing on yeah, television. television. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, so Mike Nangold, uh, of course, um, well worth it. Yo, and then, yeah. of course, we just brought it up. Has the term you've been honeymooned? honeymooned. And I don't think it has. No. And we are, we are birthing it right we, now, now today. You've been honeymooned. You've been honeymooned. And we honeymooned each other for that whole day at the convention. Oh, that's what it, all it was about. That's all it was. It was about. It was just honeymooned. Just each line other. after line. line honeymooned after line. each other. Oh, and yeah. That's great. And that's what's great about most of these people on the Facebook group is that they don't just quote lines. Yeah. Like, they don't just do that. We do all quote lines, yeah. but then they will quote a line. That's coming. Uh, you're talking about something else. Else, yeah. Just, and then you bring in a honeymooners yeah. line. You know, just that's a blurting out a line like "Leave it there, the cattle get it." When it's got nothing to do with "Leave it there, the cattle get it." Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Which you know, it, it's fine. If but if you drop picture, something now and you say "Leave, leave it, it there, there, the cattle get it," you've been honeymooned. You've been honeymooned. <laughs> it's great. It's just great. <laughs> Mike Nangle, thank you. Thank you. You you, you honeymooned us. us. And now wow. we're going to continue that trend and <laughs> have everybody honeymooned. Okay. Um, all this time to get there. Oh, my God. All right. Um, we want to get to the next quick item um, of business. Not here's an item, but an item of business. business. Um, we got two voicemails. One we're going to save for next week. Um, but this one, it's very short. And um, yeah, I don't know what to say about this. Here we go. Mr. Fabisham. <laughs> If you're here to talk me into doing the podcast, it is out of the question. Out of the question. <laughs> we, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Not, <laughs> hey, this is so-and-so or anything. <laughs> so somebody just called oh, and uh, left look, that voicemail. Voice uh, like, <laughs> and we don't know what it is. <laughs> it's just so funny. Now, here's the funny part besides that. Uh, on our voicemail thing, it's Google uh, it's Google um, Google Voice. So when you call that, it's, you're calling a Google number. Mm -hmm. And when I click on it, it actually shows, it, it types out what it hears. Okay. So you can read it. You know, oh, you okay. can read right, the right, voicemails. Right. <laughs> and I'm reading it, and it says, The Fabish Ham. <laughs> if you're here to talk me into doing the podcast, it is out of the question. Out of the oh, question. Gosh. The Fabish, Fabish Ham. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. You're going to have, whoever left that voicemail has to let us know. Yeah, let who you are. I want to know who you are. Who is this guy? This guy. And might be, and, and most likely it's somebody we already know. I'm Probably. Sure yeah, I'm sure. Yes. Um, speaking of voicemail, our last episode, which we had the great oh, Steve Franchi. Steve Franchi. Killed it. Everybody and he's was been like, killing it for the last month. What, oh, is, he's just, what is this segment? What is this segment? Uh, what is this? Just, we, too bad we can't figure out a way to do a what is that on the show here yeah 
The only thing, yeah, because a lot of it, it's because what it's is this? Visual. It's visual. It's you just, know, it's the visuals. The point, you know, and you just can't. Now, the one thing that I will say is that somebody mentioned one day they were like, and I think it was Steve. We, that's where he came up with it. We did the modern day honeymooners yeah. when we first started. Yeah, yeah. where we were trying yeah, to. It was Ralph twenty twenty. I think we used to call it. Yeah, Ralph like that. twenty twenty yeah. or something yeah. like that, and. It was like, well, what would they be? What would be comparable? Like, what would Ralph and Alice be going through in the modern day? Right. And that's where he got the idea. So that's why he does. What is that? What is that? And there's an iPad right. and this yeah. and that. So maybe that's what we can come up with. Mm-hmm. It would take a little bit of work yeah. for us to figure that out. But it's still, uh, it's just a great thing for the Facebook. Well, group. we have a whole month because you <laughs> <laughs> month between these podcasts exactly. <laughs> Um, uh, you know what? After we do this, we have, we forgot we have another um, sponsor. We no, didn't get sure. To. Um, but um, where am I at here? Yes, it's so. Last episode, we had a voicemail from Mark, Mark S. Yes, right. Mm-hmm. And he, it was a great voicemail, and you know, and all that. So he sent an email saying, uh, "Hey guys, episode one twenty eight was great. Stephen was great with you guys. It's it's awesome when you guys have the full grown nuts like Ron and Michael and Steve in the studios. The only one issue with the episode was that voicemail at the beginning. <laughs> Someone must have slipped in a spinny <laughs> record." <laughs> He said, I'm not Joe. I'm like Joe. I'm not a fan of hearing the sound of my own voice. I played it for my wife, and she was laughing when Joe was talking about the sound of his voice. I was making fun of him that, you know, he sounds like a guy yeah, who yeah. just breaks people's knuckles because yeah, yeah. you owe somebody 18 cents. <laughs> um, well, she knew, and he goes, I was laughing when Joe was talking. She was laughing when Joe was talking about the sound of uh, my voice. Well, she knew when she married me, she was getting the worst <laughs> of it. You can say that again. <laughs> so thank you, Mark. I, yeah. I love the voice. It, it was a funny voice. It was funny voice. Just yeah. like all the other ones. Yep. Uh, but yes. So I forgot we do have one more sponsor. Yeah. And we have two. We have, well, we have two other, two more sponsors, and we have one that is coming up. Yeah. Um, the other one's at the end. At the end, yeah. And and I I got all new. He's he's got a whole new thing now. Oh, does he? Yeah, yeah. He's on his own now. Oh. Him and his partner they were very amicable. Once right. They're separate ways. And oh, he's okay. Got his own thing, and I got to find the information for that. But anyway, um, <laughs> my wife, your wife, yeah, <laughs> my wife, your wife has two. She is also she, look. She's part of the keys of the keys to the Caribbean travel. Yes, of course. Where you go to Keys to the Caribbean Travel on Facebook, and she will help you go to help you uh, with all of your travel needs anywhere, anywhere, anywhere you got to go to all the great places like Mexico, all, all around, all, all, all around, <laughs> all around. <laughs> she, she can even get you into Silver Oaks if you want to. If golf. you want to go golfing in Silver Oaks, right? You get a tea time, but she'll get you in there. <laughs> but now, here's a more exciting thing. My wife started a new website, and it's also on Facebook. Mm-hmm. And it's called thegoods.fun. Goods.fun. If you're on Facebook, go to thegoods.fun, find it, and give it a like or a follow. Mm-hmm. But what she does is, she, my wife is also a photographer, photographer. right? Yes. She takes some very good pictures mm-hmm. of yellow belly sap suckers. Yes, yeah. yes absolutely. Yeah. In Central Park. In Central Park. Central Park. Central Park. You're not supposed to be 100,000 miles from Yeah, here. yeah, yeah. But, but she has a, the, the goods.fun. It takes a lot of her nature pictures and puts them on all these different products. There's denature. Mugs. The denature. <laughs> <laughs> Mugs, glasses. Uh, there's some beautiful pictures where they take, because what you do is you see the what the product looks like with that picture on it. One of them is a big shower curtain. Right. Um, they have... Um, like, uh, like covers for your like your journal. There's so right. many different things and all the different pictures. She's got some really nice pictures on there. But we're also going to be making T-shirts. Yes. All different T-shirts. Yep. And we're going to need your guys' help for this mm-hmm. because we want to make a bunch of different T-shirts that are about, obviously, the Honeymooners, mm-hmm. but directly correlating with the Honeymooners podcast. Podcast, yeah. Like one of them, Steve already sent me one and we're going to we're gonna work on it. It's going to be... The picture of Ralph going, what, what is, is that? that? And it's just going to, and I think we'll just do Honeymooners podcast. What is that? You know, yep. and we're going to try to come up with different mm-hmm. things. Michael Bruce came up with a great oh, idea. great one, yeah. For where we would have 
Ed Norton while he's doing his pledge. His Captain Video pledge. His Captain Video pledge with his hands over his head. And maybe we'll have the picture in front and on the back. The I don't know if they could do, but they do the pledge. Yeah, do the pledge. And you put the whole pledge on the back. Right. Honeymooners podcast. So definitely go check out the goods.fun. My wife. Your wife. Is working very hard at this. She's been very motivated and getting very creative and, uh, you know, it's a, it, it might be a million dollar idea. Million dollar, yeah. million dollar it's idea. It's like, you yeah. know, it's like Pablum on pizza. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yes, a Pablum on pizza. <laughs> so that's the thing. Definitely go check out the goods dot fun, or even go on Facebook and find the goods dot fun and like that page. There you go. All right. There you go. It's for my wife. It's Your my wife. wife. <laughs> 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 Love that. <laughs> I can sit there and listen to you do that all day. All right. Now what we're going to say he's, he does it in the when he's driving in the car with his wife, and we say these things, and he tries to say them along with us. Oh, does he? Really? Yes, he said. It's like he does. <laughs> your wife will say that. He'll like Clifton, New Jersey. Oh does. my goodness, it's great. <laughs> so I before we get into the 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 the, the meat and potatoes of this whole thing, uh, I had a question, <laughs> and I didn't even tell Louis the question. No, you can tell it's me a question. More of a it's kind of a rhetorical question. I don't really think there's an answer to it. But. And I'll still get it wrong. And, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I wonder how good the floor show at the Hong Kong Gardens <laughs> actually could be. <laughs> I mean, come on. What is it, like the end of Christmas story where they're just singing Deck the Halls? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, well, how good is the floor show how, at the Hong Kong Garden? How big could the floor be? <laughs> I really <laughs> Think about that. I know. How extravagant. What, you have a band and, <laughs> yeah, exactly. and dancing girls coming out, you know, dressed up in, you know, right, some, right. throwing lychee nuts yeah, at everybody. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a thought. Like, how <laughs> good could the, the floor, floor show be? He's like, come on, we're going to go to the floor <laughs> show. At the, I mean, come on. It could be like that. What's that thing? That feng shui thing? Feng, sh- feng shui. Feng shui. Feng, feng shui. Feng, feng shui. Feng shui. I don't know. <laughs> I was saying it. I don't, uh, That's you know. what happens when two mooks try to sound culture. Yes, yeah, yeah. 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 Which I'll, is I'll, pretty much sound. I'll, I'll, I'll stick to my other thing. Your wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness! I was saying yeah. it phonetically. Yeah. So I was just like, I. It was a question that I just wanted <laughs> to run past Louis because I just thought it was absolutely hilarious. Um. So now I want to get into. You wanted to bring up a little timeline thing. Oh yeah. About. Astoria Queens. Yes, Astoria. Astoria. Now, we all know what Astoria means in the original 39. Right. And that is where Ralph's mother-in-law well, moved. Moved to. To. Right. From, from Kos- Kosciuszko Street. From Kosciuszko Street. Now, Kosciuszko Street is in Bensonhurst. Okay. Like the old Benson. I guess it's considered Bensonhurst. But if you just if you look on a map, it just goes straight north from Chauncey Street. Right. It's like 20 blocks away. Okay. So it could be a different neighborhood. I don't know, but it's close. Okay. Now, in um, the babysitter, which is episode 17, going back to episode 15, a matter of record. Correct. That's where we get the Kosciuszko Street when he gives the address of the mother. Where, yeah, 33 Kosciuszko Street. 33 Kosciuszko Street. Kosciuszko Kara, Street. Kara, Kara, Kara Gibson, Gibson, right? Yeah. So we know that she's on Kosciuszko Street, right. 20 blocks north. Small blocks. And you know, she said, it's far long blocks. No, it's right, not. Right, right, right. They're short city blocks. You know yeah. how city blocks are. Okay, so now, in the babysitter, she's telling Trixie, you know, since my mother moved all the way out to her story, I have no way of getting in touch with her. Right. So now, this is only two episodes away. So that's the timeline. So now, now after that, we don't hear anything about where Alice's mother lives. Correct. So we just have those two instances where... She lived in Bensonhurst on Kosciuszko Street. Right. And then the other one, all the way from Bensonhurst, remember? Right, where we think we, it, it we might think have been. It might have been a mistake. mistake on Audrey's well, part. Audrey said, now we think, but also, he says, where's Bensonhurst? In New Zealand or something? In New Zealand. Now, if she had said, um, that's also the same. Is that also a matter of record? Where is Bensonhurst in New Zealand or something? Um, I believe it could. No, that's with the. F- um, because I never. No, no, it. that's what. No, that's with. That's the babysitter. Yeah, that's, no, no, it's not the. No, one, that, the, that's the, the one. That's no, that's a uh, blabbermouth. 
It is. Right? Because memory says two tickets, and he goes, oh, oh my God. Because he yes, says, I can't, I can't, I can't Ralph, because my mother's coming. Mother's right. coming. She's yeah. coming all the way from all the way Benson from Benson Hurst. Hurst. Right. And he says, where is Benson Hurst? New, New Zealand, Zealand or something. Or something. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. So, that's, so that, that's that one. So that's a matter of record. So she actually still is in Benson Hurst. Okay. Two, two episodes after that, in The Babysitter, she's in Astoria. In Astoria. Okay. So two episodes. Two episodes later. So right. we don't we don't know. I mean, it's it's comedy timelines. It's, you know, it, yeah. it, it, they're not you know, restricted to an exact timeline. Right. Things are off, like the odd couple. Like nothing, Yeah, they nothing. didn't have a, 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 a continuity guy on yeah, the like, show. Yeah, yeah, like, say, hey, <laughs> wait a minute now. Hey, what, what, you just four moved? episodes ago. Two, yeah, two weeks ago, you were in Bensonhurst. Now you're in Astoria. When would you move? All the way from Bensonhurst. Yeah, well, so that's that's the timeline of Astoria. Gotcha. So Astoria. It, Astoria. Is Astoria. that where, um, did Archie Bunker live in Astoria? He was in Queens, but I don't know. I if, thought he was a story. I don't know. Ooh. Good question. You're a, yeah. You're the a family guy. Yeah, I know it's Queens. He's, he's definitely Queens. I but I don't. It's a story. I don't know. Now oh, I. Now there you I, go. Now you got to go find out. Yeah, exactly. Now you have to go find out. Yeah. Like I said, because you're all in family guy. Although I have to say, um, what do you? I, I want to. Next episode, mm-hmm. I want to pose a question for all of Raccoondom. Okay. And uh, I'll tell you about it after. Okay, all right. It's got something to do with what we were just oh, talking okay, about. Oh, okay, all okay. Right. And it's good because everybody's going to have their own answers. Oh, perfect. So, all right, cool. So now, oh, 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 oh this is good. We get an introduction here, which is good. Um, oh, yeah. Yes. And it is, here we go. <laughs> the Honeymooners Podcast there he now is. presents, here's an item. Oh. This is where we have one of our lusciously lovely listeners present some material for this prestigious, proficient program. Oh dear, I've dribbled all over myself. (laughs) Uh, And now, without any more ado... Here's an item. (laughs) Just makes it perfect. It's just so great. Okay, well, we got in here's an item. And this is a really good here's an item. Yes. Okay. From Anthony Pacifico, mm-hmm. full grown nut. Full grown nut. Anthony. And also a uh, full grown nut of the the week. Well, no, if we call full grown no, nut. No, you're a full grown nut of the week. Then, yeah, yeah, he's he's part of the fraternity. Fraternity, that's what yes, we're looking part for. of the fraternity. Yeah. That's what I was uh that's what I was reaching for here. So Anthony has an interesting one. Okay, guys, here's an item, which I love when they yeah, people I like when they start with here's an item. It's, 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 it's great. It's basically in Young Man with a Horn episode. At the beginning, Norton tells Ralph he is going to apply for a civil service job with the city as a sewer inspector. Mm-hmm. City inspector. inspector. Sewer inspector. inspector. Love the way he says that. He then tells Ralph that he, Norton, saw a job that Ralph would be perfect at, which is senior transit clerk with the transit authority. I swear that as soon as Norton says that, there is sound of applause coming from one person in the audience. Am I right in hearing that? Or is my hearing going or is my hearing going from having a bad case of the heat cough? Cool. <laughs> I'd love to hear what you guys think. Uh, so we decided to yep. investigate. Investigate this, it. You know, just like uh, they were gonna investigate Ralph's taxes. Okay. And uh, check it out. Here you go. Just right in your alley. Senior clerk and transit authority. Is it right? Is this supposed to be right up your alley? Right up your alley. Right? Yeah, right, right up your right alley. In right in your, your alley. alley. <laughs> right in your alley. Okay, here we go. Clerk and transit authority. Transit authority? Certainly. Look, I, 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 I want an application here. Do you hear that? Do you hear them clap? There was like one or two people yeah. or one person who started clapping from the audience like an applause. Yeah, an applause. And it was probably because, I mean, I, you know what? I don't even think this is even debatable. Somebody no, clapped. No, somebody claps. Because they heard him say. Just right in your alley. Senior clerk and transit authority. Transit authority? Certainly. Look. There it is. There there it is. is. Somebody clapping. They no must clap. be like, oh, yeah, no, I'm nobody's. I'm the only one no in, in I'm transit only the worst authority. in the transit authority. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nobody else That's is in transit authority? authority? Only me. What? Only me? <laughs> and Ralph, if he passes the test. If he passes the test. <laughs> we washed out. But, yes. <laughs> 100% Anthony. It definitely. definitely. I am Anthony. giving it the stamp of approval. Yep. I am saying you are 100% right. We get the appro- we give you the approval that yep. you are right. Right. One guy clapped. One guy clapped. 
And he had to be. We we Joe told us, well, he's got to be a transit worker. What else? Who else? Why, why else would you clap? Because yeah, it's, not, it's clap? not time to clap. Right. They're not exactly. saying anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's exactly. not nothing funny either. It's just right. go, they're just going it's back. It's not and like forth. Uncle Leo walked in when yeah. those couple of people started Cl- clapping. clapping yeah. They were like, it's Uncle, it's like Uncle, Uncle Leo. Leo. It's yeah, you got to clap. No, me, I would have been going nuts. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> what a great here's an item. That was a good one. Uh, that really is a good one. It really is. Anthony Pacifico, great here's an item. Can't even dispute it. It can't be disputed. No, because it's a uh, undisputed, undisputed, or what does he say? So don't need and, uh, with something you cannot disputed. dispute. Yeah, yeah, it's live and yeah, something you, you cannot, cannot dispute. dispute. Okay. Um, <laughs> now we've been honeymoonered. Right? Yeah, we've been. Honeymoonered. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. Here's an item. Is now. You, you yeah, it's part of your vernacular. It's here's, it's, an, here's an, you know, yeah. it's a honeymooner. Yeah, it's honeymooner. <laughs> here's say an item. Somebody, if you say, hey, here's an item. <laughs> <laughs> you could also honeymoon at somebody else. Like, yeah, you could yeah, exactly, them. exactly. Okay, now we got to go into the $99,000 yeah. answer. Okay, so uh, Louie brought this up with the $99,000 answer, which I think, um, am, oh, wait a minute. Yes, okay. Mm-hmm. I, I do. I, am I bringing up $99,000 yeah, answer? We're gonna, yeah, yeah, we're going to do that one, yeah. Right? Yeah, absolutely. I'm mm-hmm. going to bring it up, and we're just going to play... The uh, now explain to them where you're, what you're thinking of because of Mister Mister his name his name so exactly we know the guy that's going to come in you driving everybody crazy <laughs> driving everybody crazy here driving so everybody know, crazy we know who that person is of course now people out there may have noticed this before I just noticed it that his name there it is thank you introduction there yeah. His name is mentioned twice in the episode. I didn't realize two it. different ways. So, yes. Joe, you just want to play it. Let them. Yep. Um, Which one are you going to play first? We'll play when Alice. Alice is okay. Okay. Oh, but you didn't have to make a special trip just for that. Oh, I didn't. We went to the movies in the neighborhood, and so it wasn't out of our way to come here at all. Well, why don't you sit down and have a cup of coffee? Oh, I can't. Your father's waiting in the car, and he's double parked. How's the, the brain, brain doing? doing. Oh, mother. What a week. The piano and the phonograph have been going every single night until 3 o'clock in the morning. He's been fighting out the window with Mr. Garrity upstairs. Okay. Strangers have been dropping in. Mr. Mr. Garrity. Now, we all know that Audrey was the closest thing to perfection. Yes. She was... Uh, she might have made the mistake with Benson Hurst. That might have been one of her only yeah. mistakes. Oh, that's the other one. Here alone, home alone. Oh, yeah. and, and, well, that was a flub. This was a she flub. just she put the. It was almost like she just put the wrong. She city. just said it. No, no, no. She just said um, home alone, here alone at home. Like she just right. could have carried her first one, and, and right. it would have made no difference. It would have made, no made no difference to all. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, the whole point here is she says Mr. Garrity. Yeah. And then, of course, when you go further on into the episode. We all know what's coming. We all know what's coming. But it's so worth it. Oh, Can I pitch the ball game? I got to warm up that way before I play the piano. I hope I don't have to tell you this again. Are you ready? Go ahead and play. His anger is so funny in this. <laughs> By the way, yeah. and I, I knew it was a by the way. Like, the way he bring, yeah, like it's not dang, yeah, it's bring. Well, because he's 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 oh. like winding up into it. He thinks he's gonna go play right into the song, right? And he goes into Swanee River, but it like, just it oh. almost like he's like, oh, it's just so good. Even the way he played uh, that, yeah. he was just he was the best. He really was. Uh. And then Ralph goes ah. <laughs> All, that's all, that's all, Shuffle Off the Buffalo, written by Warren and Dubin for a little picture called 42nd Street. The year was 1942. 1942. Oh, 32. Absolutely right. Yeah. All right, here's another one. Don't look at the music now. Don't need it, my friend. Don't need it. Now, this is a little <laughs> change in listen. tempo. Don't let it throw you. <laughs> all righty. <laughs> His face, the way he looks. <laughs> this is just too marvelous for words. Yeah. Just two marvelous for words, written by Johnny Mercer and Richard Whitey. Whitey. For a picture called Ready, Willing, and Able, the year was 1937. Absolutely correct. Boy, you are. <laughs> All right. This one might throw you. This one uh, goes back a little ways. Ready? Uh, yeah. <laughs> 
He doesn't play it all the way through in Ralph's face. <laughs> You know what I like about this? The audience knows. gets it. The audience knows they the song. They know yep. the song. Because yep. I didn't know this no. until somebody told yeah. me. Well, remember, we're all watching this years ago. Right. Now, we're not of that generation. Right. A lot, of, a lot of guys that do listen are, but most of us aren't. No. They don't, we, don't, we didn't so grow we didn't, up with that music. music. And we didn't know that Jackie Gleason was, at the time, this you know supposedly, put that in quotes, songwriter. Right. And, but even when you hear it, you don't, uh, until you know, yeah. then you're like, uh, da, 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 and it's da, 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 like da, da, da. it's yeah. faster. It's done yeah. more of like a little mm-hmm. bit of a. Well, the other way, the other way is more melodic because you got strings and your ear right. just got Norton. And, it, and there's no yeah. And you got Norton is... on this Uncle Floyd piano, <laughs> playing, you know, banging out things like. <laughs> <laughs> that was for Ron Alberti. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, um, here we go. Absolutely correct, boy. You are. You are hot. All right. This one might throw you. This one uh, goes back a little ways. Ready? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I love it. He doesn't play all the way through the Swanee yeah. River. At least it's like, huh, sounds familiar. Yeah. Anyway, it's just like, oh, isn't that? Come in. Come in. Oh, there he is. Jealous McGarrity. Oh, why don't you shut up in here? You're driving everybody crazy. I'm not driving anybody crazy. You're just jealous, that's all. And you know why you're jealous? Because you know that at this time, tomorrow night, my picture will be on the front page of every newspaper in the country. Well, so will mine for killing you. (laughs) Great line. And I want to hear this real fast. Ralph. Ralph. Hey, you loud mouth. Now you woke up my wife. (laughs) (laughs) But there it is. I never picked up on it that it's it's in the same episode. episode. Like four minutes apart. But yeah, she says. And he messes it up. She says Garrity. Yeah. And we're going to go with Alice. And she's right. We Audrey's go. right. Going with all. And he's Mick Garrity. Mick and Garrity. then he says in um, the one with the bride, Al, here, here comes oh, the bride. Here comes the bride. Here comes the bride when he. When he he says to get well. He mentions Garrity two more times. But I the, have a, the, 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 when he goes to tell the joke. Yeah, the joke. And also, does he say something to Garrity with the. For your information, Garrity, I didn't rent this from an undertaker. Was he, does he say Garrity? I think with, it's with the Garrity top with, with the, the top hat. Yeah, yeah. The, you know what? That's wow. That's another Garrity. That's another Garrity. That guy, he's all over he's the all place. All over the place. Because then he also said, you know how much he likes, he likes me. me. Yeah, he's still laughing. He's still laughing. Right. He's still laughing. Wow. And, but every other time he says Garrity. Garrity. It's always Garrity, except that one time he says Mick Garrity, and it's. And it's the only time that Garrity is seen. You see, when he, and it's such an iconic oh, moment, unbelievable you know, moment for killing you. you. Ah, I love that yeah. when he goes. Oh, when he ah, does that, ah, when he turns know, away. Oh, just that frustration. Oh, it's just great. Uh, I love it. That is absolutely perfect. So there it is. I never realized it was in the, the same, same episode. episode. Alice says Garrity. He says Mick Garrity. <laughs> Five minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely great. Um, well, he wasn't around for for practice, so he, he didn't yeah, have to say. Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, so now, I don't know what you uh, you just told me to remind you that IMDb. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, when I was looking for doing the uh, the timetable on the Astoria versus Bensonhurst thing. Okay. So I needed the I needed to, the list of the episodes in order when they from came one out. to thirty nine right. in order. Right. And it's funny because IMDb had a rating of all the episodes. Really? Yes. You know, like, you know, like when you you you, you star something when you're, yeah. you they ask you like, oh, what did you think of this? And you right. star in nine stars, eight stars, right, ten right, stars. Right, yeah. right, right. So just I'm going to pose this to you. This is okay. fun. It's not a trivia question, but it's fu- it's fun. It'll be fun. The top. I'm going to put down probably the top five. We'll say the top five episodes. What would you th- just just give me something and we'll see if it's in the top five. I'll I'll, I'll with, tell you one the here. Stars. There's there's one rating. There's this one rating. There are three tied for that rating. Okay. okay. I'm gonna say this one was rated nine point one out of ten. Out of ten. Okay. Which what would you think it would? But just throw some things. funny money. 
I would go Funny Money or The Golfer. Okay. The Golfer is in there. Okay. The Golfer is number four. Out of? Uh, out of the top five. Okay. It's number four, four. Out, of the, out of the top five. Yeah, it's rated 8.8. Okay. The one that's rated 9.1. Um, here's my question. Do you... Th- here's a question. I'll put it this way. We just played it before. Oh, the $99,000 yeah, answer. Go. Yeah, th- that makes $99, sense. $99,000 answer sense. has the highest rating of 9.1. And you know why? Ed Norton? Ed Norton. It's th- th- iconic. We, it's- we forget how many people... Who aren't like us? Mm-hmm. Know that know line. that line. Know that that's like the the moment where they're like, yeah, you know, and and when he's on the game, game show, show yeah. and he's playing the song, and it's the one that Ed Norton plays, and he's like, how many, how many, how many, Ed Norton, Ed Norton, Swanee yeah. River, yep, wow, and you're saying that, Joe. I'm going to apply that to the golfer, just because of hello. hello but that's why ball. I. And my question was going to be, do you think these are done by? Do you think it's because of people who aren't rap? They're not full. They're not us. us. Yeah, they're not us. Because I think, w- listen, they're I more. Ca- I'll put it. This, they're probably more casual honeymooners. Not fans. us, right? You not know, us. I'm, that's I'm, what I'm saying. Wackos. That's that why the golfer. That's why the golfer is up there. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, the, I'm saying the golfer is up. I saw it. I saw. And okay. it's because of oh, hello it's ball. up there because of hello ball. Okay, right. so now we got the number one is ninety nine thousand dollar answer. Okay, number four is the golfer. Okay. So what would you think would be between them? Oh, matter of record. Uh, no. 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 Hold on. I'm just going to look at the... Uh, I'm going to look at... Uh, just look at... Yeah, just, just, just refresh your memory. Brother, right. I mean, it's tough to think of 39 off the top of your head, but, you know... Just... Um, better living through television. No. No, huh? No. Because now I'm thinking of, like... The most what, iconic. Just, just give me exactly. And iconic scenes are put is what puts these in. We may not think they're the best. Like to me, I'm not a big fan of the golfer. Nothing wrong with it, right? But I just think because to me, the, the hello ball is just overblown. Right, right, it exactly. Just, does it resonate with me as it does? I'm not saying everybody's wrong. I'm just saying it doesn't resonate with me as of it course. does with other people. Yeah. Okay. Um. Unconventional behavior. No. That's not in there either. And what's five? Um, what's five? Well, five. That's the three-way tie for five. Those are oh, all. So those two? are all. Eight. There's there's a nine point one. The ninety nine thousand dollar answer. The second one's nine point zero, which we haven't mentioned. Third one is eight point nine. Haven't mentioned. The golfer is eight point eight. And the next five are eight point seven. There's three oh, of them. Three of them. Three of them that, that were rated tied for five. Yeah, that were rated eight point seven. Really? Is yeah. That, hold on a second. I'm just. People are out there screaming in there. How about "Twas the Night Before Christmas"? The second one. That's two. Number two is the yeah. Christmas episode. Yep. Number two. So and you know what? That one goes for all levels of um, of fandom. Yes. Because for us, it's just such uh, a great it's episode by itself. But even for you know DefCon one, yeah, and just twos, a casual fan. It's. It's sentimental. It's so, yeah, it is. There's something it's about something it. something sentimental about it. Right. Because it's the... It's, it's, Ralph's very human. They yes. be, they're very human in there. Yes. You know, and, and then, of course, that moment where they where they come out out of character. Oh, iconic. Yeah. Take yeah. Drink. It's just... Uh, take a drink. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah. All right. The third one... Okay. Hold on. I'm going to see if I can get one more guess. Yeah. You've got four. You, I mean, there's four here... One you're really leaving out. You should ha- you should have had one of them. Oh, I got it. Mambo. Mambo's no. not three. No, Mambo's in the in the t- in tied for. No, a- Mambo's not. Mambo's even in not there. even no, in not it. Not in here. None of these. Wow. No, you got one. I'm, you got four left. Uh, the one that's in third place, and the other three that are tied for see, fifth. I'm trying to figure out which is third place because I'm trying to think of those. Iconic moments that everybody knows. Yeah. What episodes are they? I in? think you may be a little bit surprised at this one. Really? Yeah. And I, go ahead. This is gonna be my last guess because now I'm just yeah, gonna yeah. say, "Man from Space." Man from Space is tied for fifth. Tied for fifth. And I think part of that is Back to the Future. Yes, because of Back to the 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 the, 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 oh, the popularity when they're watching, watching it on Back, back to the Future. Yeah. Yes. 
Uh, Man from Space is tied. Now, the third one, the one that's in third place, was one that I, we spoke about this a uh, couple of podcasts ago when I said to you when I first started watching The Honeymooners, it was my favorite. When I first started watching, it right. just had this this effect on me and i really love i mean not that i dislike it but there's have others have moved inf- above yeah, it like palamon palamine you know all yeah. my aching back right, right you know, right, the, you know right, right. funny money those are yeah. my, my probably my tr- top three how about chef of the future that's third place that's better living through tv yeah, I said better living. Oh, I thought said better. Oh, you did say better living. Oh, yeah. I, thought, I thought TV. You're not. I was thinking TV. No, not I TV. said better living through you television. You did say that. You did say that. My Only bad. because My bad. of the chef, chef of the, the future. future. You did. I was thinking of TV or TV, not TV. TV or not TV. Right. Yeah. So I was, now, because I call that chef of the future. <laughs> I don't call it. I don't call it that. I even wrote it. Look, I even wrote it you down. Wrote chef of the future. future. <laughs> All right. So we give you that so one. Now, it was a good one. All right. So we got number one. Ninety-nine thousand dollars answer. Number two, the Christmas episode. Three, Chef of the Future. Chef of the Future. <laughs> Four, the golfer. The golfer. Now you have one of the three in fifth place. You had Man from Space. Man from Space. Now one of them is pretty obvious. You should get one of them. The other one, maybe not. I don't know. Um. All right. I'm gonna try to do this quickly. Oh, it's working out. I think that's iconic. It's it's so iconic. That's what I'm saying. Um. That's why I thought it was going to be. Um, unconventional behavior, right? Because of boom, boom, and yeah. Yeah. you know yeah. that whole scene. Yeah. But it's not. No. Um, see, for me, I'm. Th- it wouldn't be Sleepwalker because that's us. No. To me, that's us. Yeah. That's not them. Yeah. Uh, imagine it's hello, mom. That would, <laughs> no, be, go go. <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> um, Better living brother Ralph. It's one of them where I'm not. I would be surprised at. That one you may, the other one you won't. You won't be surprised. I'm surprised. I'm surprised you didn't get the other one. Uh, and a, oh. and a hem and a hay. Is it trapped? No, it's that would be on one. ours. But that would be that, ours, that would be right? number one with me. Give, I'd be go ahead, give it All to right. me. Benson Hurst Bomber. Yeah, Harvey. Right, Harvey. 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 The Harvey scene is is yeah. Harvey. And the other one is. Tell me if you're surprised at this dog's life. Really? That surprises me. It's a nice surprise, though. It is. Because that's saying, hey, they appreciate the... To me, it's like you have those couple of episodes yeah. that everybody knows. Yeah. And it's almost like we dig deep. Yeah. You know, like yeah. I, I love Brother Ralph. Yeah, I know you love. You Brother love Palomine. Palomine. You know, and of course, there's Mambo and there's yeah, Michael it, Bruce loves Worry Ward. Worry Ward. He, yeah, it's, it's almost funny. Like, we talk about Michael Bruce. We point to the empty we chair to the chair where Michael sits. <laughs> empty. And when you chair. point to that, that one, was Ron. and you did that with Steve. Yeah, I did too. that with you Steve. Pointed so I pointed to the, the empty chair. You pointed <laughs> to the chair. <laughs> <laughs> very, very interesting. Yeah. So no, Nick. You have to understand, though. Now we're going from a nine point one down to an eight point seven. So right. now your eight point sixes are probably. I just wanted to get to the top five, right? But your eight point sixes are probably. Are, how you can't be any closer to Benson or Bomber, and yeah, I don't know what they are, but you can go right. people. If you go look on IMDb and just just go to the to the episode list, you'll see the you'll see the rankings. That's of them. great. Yeah, I, no. I just thought it was interesting. I didn't intend on looking for that. It just came up to me when I was you. you know like when I was just looking for something else. Yeah. And I said, "What? Well, it got ratings on here. Wow, that's great!" And I said, "Wow, I want to see what the first one. What, what is the most one?" And it's a ninety-nine thousand dollar answer. I mean, it makes sense. It does. It makes it sense does. because you know what? It transcends to the people who are casual fans mm-hmm. and, us. and us. Because I mean, look, the golfer's a great episode, but the hello ball thing. You know what it's like? It's like. It's like if you're a big Rolling Stone, you know, you're a huge Rolling Stones fan, right. and you're like, yeah, but I love Can't Get Me Satisfaction. Right. Yeah. You're like, dude, there's so many other uh, great yeah. songs. You know, it's like, we don't just like the hits. We like the deep cuts, yeah. the deep tracks. Yeah. And that's, but the $99,000 answer, because there's so many great things in it. I want to go back to your wife with the t-shirts. <laughs> right. I guarantee you, if she did a Hello Ball t-shirt. Oh, it would sell like crazy. It would sell like nuts. It sell like crazy. Yeah, exactly. That's, but we would be looking for the Captain Video one with the <laughs> Captain Video pledge. I would stand in there. I would want one like you know with Listen, Uncle Leo I on would, it. I want to do this pretty much for 
for us. Yeah. You know what I mean? For the for the full grown nuts. Just and plus it, you know, it helps my wife. Yeah. Your wife. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> time today, <laughs> but anyway, Joe. So really, when you look at this list, yes, I can't say I'm not. I'm shocked. I'm not. No, it's actually ha- it's half and half. Like I'm surprised. Uh, uh, it's almost like I'm surprised at the the. I'm surprised at the ninety nine thousand dollar answer. Being and surprised more. at dog life. Dog's life. Right. Those two surprised yeah. me. I thought there would be something else in there, and of course, me with the golfer. I thought, but then again, I think I said, well, it's it's hello ball. It's the hello. So ball. that's what. Because it's that moment it's that, that moment, everybody knows. That's that moment. And yeah. people probably couldn't tell you anything else that went on in that episode. But they know Holobo. But they know Holobo. Yep. Absolutely. So. All right. That was, that was, that was a good one. I that just, was really that's, good. That's a good one. That is really good. I'm so I, I did not I did not know that you were going to do that. Mm-hmm. That is good. Um, all right. Well, we're doing. I can't believe we're doing this. But we're doing this. I can't believe it. Go. Oh, man. And now, the Honeymooners Podcast presents... It's not in the top ten. <laughs> the Flub of the Week. All right. Flub of the Week. Flub I can't week. believe we have... Oh, by the way, that was the great Joe Fernandez. That is, of course, the great Joe was Fernandez. phenomenal at our convention. At the convention. Couldn't Just, put it over without him. Yeah. Could not done it without him. Um... The, and and my friend Joe Fernandez with an S. S at the end. Portuguese. And, uh, Portuguese. Yeah, look him up on uh, on all the different uh, ch- uh, platforms yeah. because Joe is a great comic and he's a friend of mine. Yeah. So, um, okay, we have a flub. Yeah, I can't believe it. And this what came from Jeff Young. Yeah, who's one of our one regulars. Of our li- regular he's definitely yep. definitely uh, a full grown nut. Is he part? I don't think he's no. Part I don't of think he's no, no, yeah. He will be. Well, he's obviously, a couple he more will. things like this, and he will. Be. Yeah. <laughs> Not easy to get into. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty easy now. Um, well, <laughs> they're like the Freemasons. You should get the 33rd degree. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we're going to go with this flub, and I can't believe we never. I, I don't know if I didn't notice it, but we definitely did not do this flub. And I'm gonna say no. We were we were we beating did. our heads on the wall. Did we or did we? I don't we? think we I don't did. think we did. And we're gonna definitely do the flub vault vault. Yeah, we have to do the flub, flub vault flub vault, vault for sure. We're gonna definitely come up with. Uh, it. And this one, it's uh, from the babysitter. Babysitter. It's when yes. Ralph is all upset and thinks that Alice is with Harvey. Harvey. And uh, here we go. Telephone book. I am now going over and take them apart piece by piece. And when I finish with that snake in the grass, I'm going to tell Alice, once and for all, that's it. I never want to see her again. I got along without her before I got married to her, and I'll get along without her again. I just say it's all over. It's through. Done with. Yeah. I mean, there you hear that it. little flub. In it's it. that little flub, and what's funny is that it's a quick flub, but yeah. it's a brutal flub. It, it is, but now you so always say you hear now it. Now we can't unhear it. Now, it. now, now we're really hear hearing it. it. It goes. I got along with her. I got along with her before, before, and I'll get along about her. Without, he I'll, says without. He's gonna say without her, and it came out sounding like about her. I got, and, and and then he just mushed and it all mushed up. It up and he went right through. Here you go. We'll listen again. I want to see her again. I got along without her before I got married to her, and I'll get along without her again. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm, I'm like really it, hearing it. It now. almost sounds like he he, he stopped speaking, speaking, like he ran out of breath or something. <laughs> it is bad. Oh, that's bad. I want to hear it again. For all, that's it. I never want to see her again. I got along without her before I got married to her, and I'll get along without her again. <laughs> I'll get along with it. Yeah, I've had it again. Have at it again. Yeah. I can't believe we got a flub. Yeah. I can't believe so it. We're like saying that. So we're done with flubs. Yeah, we're done with flubs. Flubs are done. We're going to do the flub vault. Flub we're going to start doing flubs again. So we can listen to so it. So we can listen to so it and can. listen to uh, Joe, well, Fernandez. Top hit, uh, Joe Fernandez yeah, and Top Hand Dress Pandora. Pandora. <laughs> but there it is. Another <laughs> flub. Flub. And Great. not like, and it's not even like we're nitpicking at this because mm. we, we understand we're nitpicking. Yep. This isn't a nitpick. No. This is yeah. I like, mean, it's like I mean when I nitpicked with pad, pad, and pencil. Yeah, that's kind of like nitpicking. Well, because it's Audrey. Yeah, and she's so great yeah. that we yeah. even got her just a smidge, and we're like, we gotta have a little fun. No, we didn't play the, the Audrey's two coughs. No, we didn't. And we also have uh, uh, something. Uh, I have the audio for it that I recorded about the. Um, remember you were talking about in the water. 
Oh yeah, we're gonna do. We'll do that next week. Next week, next okay. week. Because I want to. I want to research that a little gotcha, bit. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. But uh, an interesting flub because yeah. I don't think we ever. Uh, and like I always say, every time I hear the babysitter, just the sound of the babysitter is different. Yes. The recording. Yeah. I don't know what, what it they started did, what from happened. the very beginning. How loud the, the music loud comes it is, in, and everything is loud and very tinny, echoey. That and TV, TV or not TV, it's almost like they didn't hook the microphones up. It was almost like all the <laughs> they were catching all of them from like boom mics, the boom mics. and nobody had a mic yeah. or something because that one they they sound like they're in different rooms sometimes. Yeah. But this one has like a tinny sound to it. Very tinny. Yeah. Very tinny. But, and like I said, loud. It comes out when it first. The opening scene, yeah, with da, 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 on that music, right, the music, yeah. just blasting through. Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't knock Audrey yeah, off her chair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but thank you, Jeff Young. Jeff, great, this great, great find, absolutely great, find. great flub. Um, and did I, did we do the transit authority? Yeah, we did that. The clap, we did, we had right? the clap, yeah, the clap, with the clap, yeah. right? That was it, transit authority, yeah, with the clap. That's so, no, yeah, I mean, I mean, that way, but that's a weird, <laughs> that's a weird way, weird way of saying that. <laughs> well. <laughs> Um, listen, we have, uh, this, we haven't done a show in almost a, a month. month, almost a month. And, uh, well, we have to, uh, you know what I have to do? Um, should we do the, we have to do the, the, um, the sponsor first, right? Oh yeah. Cause he sponsors the trivia. Yeah. And I'm just, hold on. I'm just trying to see because he's got a different, um, fudge. He's got a different, uh, website now and oh. I messed it up and, Hold on, let me just see if I throw can... us for a loop. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, uh, ro- let me see, Rob. Let's see if it comes up. Oh, let's see. Do I have the new the flyer proof? Nope. Well, we'll just have to go with what we have. Yeah, that's all. Right. I thought I had it, but uh, anyway, um, here it is. Uh, well, our sponsor is, of course, our pal, Brother Norton. Brother Norton. Brother, Brother Norton. Norton. And I don't have any of the information because I don't have my, <laughs> my flyer. <laughs> I got This is a different notebook. Oh, okay. And I couldn't find my regular notebook. Oh. And um, so... Uh, you didn't jot it down. I didn't jot it down. <laughs> Hold on. It's Spruce... Uh, it's Spruce Run... Spruce Run... Printing. Printing, yeah. I'm going to see if I, uh, there we go. We still got it. Oh, okay. Um, Spruce Run Printing, and if you go to Spruce Run Printing, uh, yes, they are closing. Yes. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a new one. Um, He's got the new one. All right. Um, So right now, if you go to Spruce Run Printing and Graphics, just go there on Google, and if you need any type of printing done, signs, I mean, there's so many things he oh, does. He great things for the convention. And people are at the convention, so all his work, all he, around. Yeah. All around. All around. <laughs> all around. All around. <laughs> <laughs> and we always say, listen, if you want to go and get something done, you want to get some printing or banners made yeah, or whatever, anything. Um, business cards, anything. professionally done. Yeah. What you do is go to somebody else first and get a price. Mm-hmm. And then you go and check out Rob. And what will happen is when Rob gives you the price, you know what you're going to say? You're just going to say to him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> go ahead and print it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> it's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> and if you're looking to get real fancy, sometimes if you're looking to get something oh, printed yeah. and you no. want to get a little fancy, you can also do this. When his tongue starts turning blue, we'll do a color spread on it. You can do they, color spreads they on do it. color spreads on it. Yes, exactly. If you eat too, many blue, too much blueberry pie. Yeah, exactly. And if you're going to do this for your business and you're going to try to do it with somebody else, they're not going to do a good job. No. And you no. know what they're going to do? They're going to make you feel... We could be laughed out of the business. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> you're printing. <laughs> the wrong printing could get you left out of the business. <laughs> so Spruce Run Printing, if you go to their website right now, it's getting changed. Um, but uh, but you could still get in touch with him, and of course he's brother Norton mm-hmm. on social media. Social media. On, on, he runs the Raccoon Lodge. Yeah, on Facebook. Yep. All right. Well, he of course is sponsoring Louis's one hundred and eleventh favorite episode. Uh, I mean, not favorite episode. I'm sorry, one hundred eleventh favorite 
bit on the show. On the show. And of course, it's not even though we had 110 more bits. <laughs> now, Tom, who is our first guest, please? Uh. Our first guest, ready to leap the first hurdle on his way to the $99,000 answer, is our comedian from New Zealand, <laughs> Joe Conti. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I want to see the expression on your oh. face when you miss it. Wow. Ooh. She is really, uh, she's, she's consistent. Side, she's consistent she with is, her she meanness. Yeah. She really is like a mongoose. No, she's steady. She's steady. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I, I've just been honeymooned. Right, that's been honeymooned. brilliant you honeymooned. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Go ahead. Let's, consistent. You, consistent. No, no, steady. Steady, steady. Yeah, that's, that's a, a great thing to say to somebody. <laughs> It's, what's wrong with consistent? Yeah. Hey, jo- hey, uh, hey, Lou. What'd you think of my comedy set the other night? Y- you were steady. You were steady. Thanks. <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna quit <laughs> comedy now. <laughs> steady. <laughs> steady. All right. Here we okay. Go. Here's our trivia, Joe. And, and it is prepared. It is prepared by Professor Walter Newman. You of course, have that right. Okay. And oh. one one person is gonna be very happy about this. Oh boy. Ron Albany. Oh boy. Oh god. Because it has to do with the tooth theory. theory. Oh god. That's what everybody else out there is saying, oh god. <laughs> Except for one man. <laughs> <laughs> one man is joyful right now. There we go. He's leaping up. Okay. Tooth theory, Joe. Madison Square Garden. Give me two instances where Madison Square Garden appears. Um we gotta do the Uh, what one is? Um, I got it. One is where they were fighting. Bill Davis. The Bill Davis. Okay. And the other one is going to the uh, antique show. You got it. All right. All right, Ron. Thank you. That was good. Do Ron, I- he nailed your two steer. <laughs> it did, and uh, I deserve this. Yeah. There you go. Thank, Thank you. Applause. Applause. Thank you. Applause. Thank you. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, hey, the tooth theory, the tooth theory, absolutely, two times, Master Square Garden, Square Garden, the antique show, and Bill Davis, and Bill Davis, very good. All right, well, uh, listen, that ends our episode. Uh, who can we thank? We have so many people to thank. We have to thank Silk City Hot Sauce, all of you full grown nuts, part of the fraternity and future fraternity members. Um, Spe- uh, special Mike Nangle, who was full grown nut of the week. Jeff Young for the flub. Uh, Anthony Pacifico for the here's an item. Oh, here's an item. Great. Anthony. All of you guys. Thank you. Everybody was doing um, good. Uh, and listen, share episodes of the show or uh, some of the YouTube videos with some of your friends, some of the uh, other full grown nuts mm-hmm. that you know who yep. are Honeymooners fans. And uh, if you want to follow me on any of my social media platforms, it's Joe Conti Comic. That's Conti with yeah. an E. And uh, share it with all the bus drivers who drive buses. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Directly with your pals in the sewer <laughs> or at the bus depot. Exactly. Um, so that's it. Episode 129. Nine. 129. I can't believe it. Oh, Joe has a one year anniversary. Oh, yeah, that's right. Next week will be one year that I got my uh, surgery. Show surgery. And I'm down over uh, more than 90 pa- 95 pounds. Wow. I'm down. So yeah. now we could carry around a shoulder. Carry around my shoulders. Around my shoulders. shoulders. Yeah, 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 exactly. It's so great. <laughs> and you know what? I want to spe- uh, give a special shout out to my pal, Chris. Oh, Iverone, yeah, Chris Ivoron. Who is a pal of the show. He's a pal of mine, and he's a pal of the show. And we got, we got to hang out. He came out to Jersey, and uh, he was at the uh, convention. Yeah. And he gave uh, he gave me and Louie these really cool little uh, refrigerator magnets Magus. with honeymooners on there, and uh, he's a great pal and a great raccoon, yes. and a, a great dude, and uh, he has gone through an amazing transformation mm-hmm. also. Yes. So congratulations to you, pal, and uh, you're a good dude, and uh, I never want to see you again. Never again. <laughs> Ever want to see? You. <laughs> All right. For me, Louie Fats. And my, pa- uh, for me, Joe Conti, and my pal Louis Fats, who, uh... And he's so tall! Flip! <laughs> <laughs> and, um, we'll see you next time. 
E Pluribus Raccoonum. Night all. How about tomorrow night? This has been a non-productive media presentation. Executive producer, Frank Hablawi. This program and many others like it on the Non-Productive Network is distributed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial No Derivatives License. Please share it, but ask before trying to change it or sell it. For more information, visit non-productive.com.